All right, it is 647. Want to get a check of your first alert forecast with Jeff Ray. Not too bad out there today, but we're going to be sweating this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a very hot weekend. It's going to be a hot Friday as well by afternoon. Temperatures going to be into the upper 90s, just like yesterday. Clyde Warren Park, it's comfortable right now. Bus stop forecast, yeah, it's comfortable right now. Kids head out for the bus stop. But by afternoon on the way home, oh, temperatures are going to be in the mid 90s. No AC on those buses, and it's going to be very warm afternoon. Real quick, wanted to thank everybody at Lakeside Elementary. And Euless for hosting me for Weather on Wheels. I talked to all the fifth graders there last Monday. What a fun group that was. Next three days, uh, not so fun. Temperature wise, we're in the upper 90s within a degree of tying a record high tomorrow. That's the type of heat we're talking about. Unusually warm for this time of year. Friday night football, not so bad in that, yeah, it's a very warm start. Temperatures drop nicely across the course of the game. This is Hurricane Fiona going right past Bermuda. It missed it by about 150 miles. They've been in hurricane force winds for a few more hours still. That's been going on all night. You can see it's taken a little bit of a turn here off towards the east and now still forecasted to go on shore in Nova Scotia as maybe the strongest hurricane ever to strike Canada ever. And then it'll get into the Seaway, Great Lawrence Seaway. Sorry, I said Hudson Bay earlier in the show. That's the St. Lawrence Seaway. Uh, 35 mile per hour winds with the next hurricane threat. This is a tropical depression. It's tropical depression number nine forecast to become likely Hurricane Hermine. It is going to cross the Cayman Islands as a category one, go over Cuba uh, and strengthen to a category two, maybe go into Florida. You can see the cone of uncertainty stretches all the way from missing Florida, Miami and staying in the Gulf and going in up into maybe Apalachicola. Keep an eye on that. That's next week. High pressure that's been over us, giving us dry weather, moves off to the west. The front comes through. A small chance of rain. And with that, finally, some cooler temperatures. The seven-day forecast, summer, summer, summer. Finally, some fall. We'll have temperatures in the 80s starting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Overnight lows will dip down to the 60s because the air will be extremely dry. Nice weather.